gonna be a quick overview about the kit that we have for the big rock. Um, recently we made some upgrades to the roof racks and the light bar. Now these parts come uh, all separate. So we have the light bar, uh, the two racks, you can see it better there. And then we have the stop light bar here. The three parts are mounted separate so Okay, and the way you mount these things is uh, pretty straightforward. You just put the lights, um, I mean the bars here on top. Then you make three holes here. Um, you're gonna find that the bars come with holes. You have to drill three holes for the body and the same for this side. And then you just screw it in from the inside. Same with the light bar. You can follow one of the videos we have for the Arma Vortex. It's pretty much the same system. You can follow those steps and it's the same for this one. Then the stop light. This one is pretty easy too. Same as the roof. You just have to drill two holes here and actually a third one for the cable that goes here. Um, that's pretty much the same as the roof. And Put the two screws here, bolts on the inside, and you're good to go. About this, uh, the rear lights and the headlights. You can follow the same steps as we have for the Creighton ADS. It's pretty much the same. You just have to make a... Let me show you. Let me just remove this. We haven't glued this, so we can remove it later. Let me just... It's kind of locked. That's it. There we go. Okay. Do you see? You just have to cut a hole here. Same here with the other one. You have to follow the same pattern as the sticker. You, you just cut all the way around the sticker and you're good to go. You then can just insert the lights in place and then you just add some hot glue on the inside and you're good to go and that would be ready to bash this is the previous model and we are now using a, a different material actually it looks the same it looks the same but it's a different material is stronger than this one then we also have this one here but this one is not part of this kit. Uh, these ones are sold separately. So, what's the difference? Well, just if you remove the body, all the lights are mounted in the body. So, you just don't have any lights. But this one, this one stays here, you see. So you can uh, just put a different body maybe and you just keep having some lights. We also have some for the bumper, but uh, we, we don't have it mounted here. We're gonna do a different video for that. Okay, and the last thing is how do you mount the strip lights, the underglow lights? Uh, we like to use this spot here so you can glue it right here that goes perfectly there and it's gonna be really durable or if you want to you can mount it inside the body and uh, it will work too the wiring how to connect the lights uh, we have uh, a really good video about how to connect the controller to the lights you can just go and watch it but I'm gonna show you here. I'm sorry I didn't have time to uh, organize my cables. It's just everything loose. But it basically everything connects to this controller. Let me zoom in. There. Everything is connected to this small controller. It has two outputs. But then you can connect the splitters like this one you will have a lot of outputs then we have more splitters here you can see where we connect the rest of the lights and 
about controlling the lights, you can simply use these buttons here. Uh, let me show you. Lights are off now. We just move this, we turn it on. Uh, we move it again, we turn on maybe the rear lights. That depends on how you wire it. Then we do another movement and we turn everything on. And then you have some patterns now. That's the last mode. It will blink, fade, stroke, 